It's D-Day for the Super Rugby as Rugby Australia makes demands for 2021. Will there be a new Super Rate competition? More people fighting over the rugby TV rights than the last piece of Nana's apple pie. Will rugby survive the pandemic? Of course it will. I'm Rico Gear. welcome to The Ruck. At a media conference yesterday, the Rugby Australia intern chief says they have put a deadline for broadcast submissions, so D-Day is coming. Uh, New Zealand Rugby has said, you're not the boss of me, Australia. We want one of our five teams in Australia's Super Rugby and a new Pacific Island team. New Zealand Rugby drops the mic. Maybe the Pacific Island team is one of the two new Hawaiian teams everyone's talking about. One of which is licensed for the USA competition, the MLR, uh, and the other could be a Super Rugby team. Just saying. Will they agree? Should know in three weeks. Our spies tell us there could be a Super 8 competition next year. Uh, with two club sides from Australia, New Zealand and South Africa, along with one from South America and Japan. That's one massive travel bubble. Hey bro, you reckon they'll be looking for a face mask sponsor as well? Will rugby survive the pandemic? According to Optus, it will. Throwing their hat in the ring for a new broadcast deal. The new deal will involve Optus and Network 10 screening Wallabies test and Super Rugby, with finer details still to be worked out with Foxtel and KO. Word on the field is... Broadcasters will get the opportunity to pick and choose the content they use from 2021 to 2025. Good for rugby, confusing for us, the viewer. I'm Rico Gear. Hey, who put that question mark in my teleprompter? See you next week on The Ruck. Don't forget, for all the latest sports news, go to 11sports.